Hey everyone, this is Riker Rider, and welcome to Let's Play Super Mario Galaxy. Um, I am dedicating this thread to uh, a couple different people. Nintendo Capri Sun wanted me to do this game because he was not really capable, he said, of getting 100% in this game. And I'm also going to dedicate this LP to Sartak, who did a fantastic, or started at one point, a fantastic subtitled LP of this game, but he never finished it because apparently he lost interest in the game. This is w loads better than Super Mario Sunshine, which really was a mediocre game. I was really disappointed. They learned their mistakes and, or learned from their mistakes, excuse me, and really went back to the core gameplay that was present in Super Mario 64. Uh, I can't wait for Super Mario Galaxy 2. This has a couple different coin-like items in it. Star bits are more important than coins. Uh, but, uh, what really is the... Pr there really isn't any purpose to coins in this game. They just... They just really serve to keep a score, and if you collect 50 of them, you get an extra life. If you point the cursor at the screen you'll see uh, a blue star and you can collect uh, you can collect star bits with it. And of course, the uh, star festival isn't going to go smoothly because in every single Mario game, somebody has to kidnap the princess and Mario has to rescue her. It's this way in every game. It's been that way since 1985. <laughs> I do like this track. This is a nice throwback to Super Mario Bros. 3. I just wish it was played more in the game. Unfortunately, they didn't really voice act a whole bunch of the game. Although I guess they kind of learned from Super Mario Sunshine because they had an absolutely horrid voice actor for Bowser. Um, Bowser Jr. they didn't have a very good voice for either. I have to learn that technique. It's been so long since I played this game that uh, I can't remember all the details about it. Huh. Must be mistaken.
So wait, they just ripped Princess Peach's castle out of the ground? That makes a whole lot of sense. Haven't you figured out better ways to kidnap the Princess Bowser? I like your method in Super Mario 64 a lot better. I mean, this is obviously more stylish and makes for a better opening cutscene, but still, there was a lot better way to do this. Just kidnap the princess while Mario's out or something. And of course, this game, at least in the opening cutscene, has absolutely no respect for gravity, which explains why... Well, it'll explain a lot of things later. But this game really just throws the rules for gravity out the window. That's a tiny planet. And you'll also notice later on that this is a recurring theme. Oh, I hate this. This is such a pain in the ass. Can I shoot you? Oh, right, I don't have to yet. They're all in specific places. I forget where they all are, but they're all in fairly obvious places. You can already tell that this is not your ordinary platformer. Now, where are the rest of those damn bunnies? There's one. Wait, do I actually have to catch him? I do, don't I? There's one. This segment of the game is, like, totally unnecessary. <sighs> Alright, we're back. And I hate getting interrupted because I totally lost track of these bunnies. There's one. Ah, uh, get back here. There's one. Uh, do that. Mm, come on. I just got this one. There we go. Last one. Finally. Mama? 